Hey folks, so here are some Saracenia seeds which I collected this year. And these two are from two different hybrid varieties of North American pitcher plant. And these two here I recently got from the Botanical Garden. I saw them growing out of some Saracenia leucophila. And I asked them if I can have them and they're like, sure, for a small donation. So I made a donation and I got a couple leucophila seeds and two different varieties of hybrids. Now, the way I was able to distinguish the two varieties is I cut one of the flower buds short and the other ones a little longer. So this way, I, before I sort them, if I wanna see if they grow differently, I can keep them in check. So I have these three empty Siggy's yogurt containers with peat moss, and I'm gonna start by soaking this because it's so dry it's going to need to start getting soaked to start wicking up the water and i want to soak these in order to get this moist enough for when i put the seeds in there to cold stratify them so i'm just giving a little water i don't want to overdo it but i don't want to underdo it as well so just letting this water sit and slowly soak in there for the time being and then I'll add more as need be so I can move these out of the way for now and let's see what we have as far as seeds go okay this one has some good viable seeds so when you break them apart you can collect the seeds easily, but sometimes if it wasn't fertilized, it won't have any seeds to it. So, so I'm breaking these up and let's see. Okay. So it's nice having a flat surface, even though it's not the smoothest, but I'm going to take a card so I can move the seeds over. Okay, so now let's go with the next one. So that got thrown in there, but it's fine. Okay. This one doesn't seem to have much in way of seeds. Yeah, you see, it didn't seem like it got adequately fertilized, so it doesn't have as many seeds in there. So there is going to be a little bit of debris with the seeds that I can slowly remove, but it's not a big um issue no oh, this has lots of seeds look at that To have lost some seeds in there. Okay. Oops. Okay, so here's the first one. 
plenty of seeds with those three flowers, so that was kind of nice. Now we have the next variety has six flowers that I collected this year. And this one wasn't viable. Let's take that one that's missing the petals and see that next. This one's obviously not viable. That one was not viable. Oh, something tells me they're not going to be viable. This one might be. Oh, look, something seems to have drilled in there. Yeah, these seeds didn't fully develop either. Neither did that. I don't know if this one variety will give me enough seeds to propagate. And this one looks not vi viable either. Well, we're down to the two from the botanical garden. Let me try this one here that the seed pod was a little bit... Okay, these are viable. That's good, I think. Yeah, the seeds are a little smaller than that one. But so was the flower pod. Or the seed pod. So they don't really see much in the way of seeds because they're tiny. I don't know if they fully developed. There aren't that many. See, there's so much debris because the seeds are so tiny they're intertwined. But we'll plant that and hope some of those germinate. And now the last one, which broke on me. Okay, it does have seeds, good. Oops. Give away some seeds there. So I plan to plant three different ones and instead two. So these aren't as tidy, but I have those and those. And then I have these cups that were sitting here. They still haven't fully soaked up the water, so I'm going to have to let them sit for a few minutes, and then I'll plant them. So these are starting to get wet and moist, and I try to make these as flat as I could. This one's a little trickier. Sometimes the peat moss forms clumps. When it dries out, it gets harder to soak but it's not a big ordeal so i'm going to use two cups two of these yogurt containers for the larger one so they can be more spread out and then that one under there so i'm going to take a few seeds and just sprinkle them on the top Now 
Now, there's a reason I filled these cups up halfway, because I want to make sure when the seedlings sprout and germinate, the, oh, that seed went mixed with the other one. When they germinate, that they're going to be able to have room to grow up a little bit, even though they'll stay small for a couple of years. That's the funny thing about a lot of these carnivorous plants. They stay tiny and then they eventually start to grow when they get a little older. I have some from two years ago and they're not too happy at the moment, but the ones that are still alive look pretty healthy. And it was so dry this year, I didn't plant them outdoors, so I'm going to keep them alive hopefully until the spring. So I'm going to switch these to that side and let's see, I don't want to like have a mess here. Okay, so then I'll sprinkle these on there. Now, to keep the two different seed varieties separate, so I don't, you know, you could easily label them with a marker, but I have press and seal, and I have one smaller piece, which I'll put on top of the Nepenthes, um, sorry, the... Uh, Sarsenia leucophila seeds. I typically will use saran wrap because you can see through, but I have press and seal at the moment, not saran wrap. So we have that sealed. I'll have to set this there. And this way you're forming a nice tight seal so that you can keep it humid on the inside. You want it to be cold and humid for cold stratifying. So now that I have these set up, I can place them in a cold, humid area. So I'm going to put them on the top shelf out of the way in the garage refrigerator. And this way they're not constantly in the kitchen being open and closed. And it's the middle of October and I'll keep them in there. They take about six to eight weeks to cold stratify, being in the cold and humid environment. And both in combination will help them germinate in the spring. So right now, middle of October, I'll probably pull them out middle of December or so at, at the earliest. And then I can let them sit. And then as they sprout, I can slowly acclimate them to drier conditions. And then I'll have some nice little plantlets that I can grow in the spring. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and happy planting.